Well, lifestyle always is, a, and I'm sure Miss Marianne, uh, you know, would say the same thing. Being integrative, you know, lifestyle is what it, that is the one of the major determinants of your health. Yes, you have your genetics, your family history, but mm -hmm. the reality is we are a nurture over nature type of machine. So what you're doing day in and day out, like what time you're going to bed, what time you're waking up, are you getting morning light? How much movement are you getting? What your stress level? Level is I mean all of those things what you're eating day to day like that is your best medicine Breakfast and how you what, what are you doing I think a lot of times too this younger generation and I'm hey guys trust me don't don't shoot the message you heard me just say I'm almost sixty that um, I'm hard headed about going to the doctor but I think this younger generation really don't uh, how can I say this tactfully. They're just a different breed. They see things a lot different than we see things. They are, I think they That's feel young like, people in general. You know, you're that's young right. when you're young. You're you're invincible. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're not sick. You're not having aches and pains. Like, you know, like that's not your life. Yeah. So, um, they say yeah. that age is wasted on the young, but I I will say disclaimer here. I do think that this generation, though, is okay with what you just said, Dr. Sims, shopping around. I do like, that. You yeah. know, I have a problem saying I find like, myself in the young generation, but <laughs> we I, don't have I to tell you things. Moving on, finding the next provider, looking for a holistic provider. Mm -hmm. I, I preach that every day to my patients saying, hey, you need to ask. If, the, if your person isn't, a lot of things can be treated at, like, at such the smallest thing, like just as you were saying, movement. People don't even process how they move and how it impacts their function okay. in day to day. So I think it's so important to just really, I mean, even though younger generation, yeah, they don't really feel like, hey, I'm unhealthy or the things I'm doing is going to transfer into, you know, my older adult years. But they don't mind shopping around. We do not mind shopping around. You know, it, they have a different thought process. Too. You have to imagine when we were younger. And I don't know, Dr. Brooke, you, you look very, very younger to me. I don't know what your age is and you don't have to say so. That would be very rude if you how old are you. But that, but I, I know that because um, we're all admitted that the rest of us have all admitted that we're, we're older. But um, when we were young, you know, I used to play. I'm in my thirties. Sorry. <laughs> I, okay, well, I know okay. it then. But when we were younger, you know, we played outside until dark. You know, I could get on my bike, and and I don't know about you know everybody's background, but I know I could get on my bike. I lived in Lubbock, Texas. I mean, I was in the you know probably the safest city in the world, and you know I could get on my bike and ride blocks and blocks away at six years old. Nobody knew where I was at times. Mm -hmm. I felt safe. These days, you know, the way that our our youth and, and our younger generations are growing up. They don't feel safe. You know, there's school shootings. There's the FedEx guy kidnapping you. There's, you know, there's all these things going on. And, and so it's not. Safe. So they have a different frame of mind. The other thing, too, is they've learned instant gratification, you know, and yes. things are available. Information is available immediately. So, you know, with with the rest of us, we used to know it would take some time to kind of develop a relationship and to, uh, you know, get something uh, taken care of. These days, they are like, I need instant feedback. I need to know how it's going right this minute. I need to get it in my hands by the end of the day. And if and they don't, they're on to the next. Well, the body next. doesn't so, work like that. Like, the body doesn't. <laughs> no, and it doesn't. So, saying, so, especially the, oh, the yeah. PT. I know she knows. Like, no, I need you to give you this You know, regularly, if you want it to be different when you come in to see me next time. Yeah. And that's one of the Things that people have the hardest time with, they're like, okay, this is a problem, fix it now. And I'm right. like, that's right. not the body works. It's not work like that. No. But you just have to support them, right? Yeah. Like, okay, these are your little touch points. You can check in. You know, I can support you along the journey. But yes, it's gonna be a journey, and you it's have gonna to be a journey. You're gonna have to do work. <laughs>